Back in the spotlight. Bernie Sanders caught in $450,000 corruption scandal, he can't escape now. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders, IVT, the self-declared socialist, has no issue with other individuals balance his bills. As per the Daily Wire, Sanders went to various states as a feature of his campaign for the presidency. Cities in those states detailed that he's neglected to pay $450,000 for security services used to protect him. Cities in Ohio, Arizona, California, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Washington have all announced that Sanders has neglected to remunerate them for security services rendered to his campaign in 2016. Lachlan Marquet, a staff writer for the Washington Free Beacon, posted a tweet of Sanders' exceptional obligations saying Bernie Sanders' campaign still owes, a disputed, $450,000 to cities where he campaigned. Clinton and Trump, at ah, on the other hand, have settled all 2016 debts. Rob Pyers, a finance data master for California Target Book, asserts in a tweet demonstrating Sanders' unpaid bill that he has $5 million to pay from campaign donations, however, hasn't utilized it for the obligations. As Bernie returns to CA, $5M plus left in his campaign account stiffs multiple CA cities for $327,000 in security costs. The arrival trip buyers alludes to is an administrative push by Sanders to build up free universal health care through a solitary payer health bill, as indicated by Vox. The bill would see all U.S. residents required to be selected in Medicare inside four years. The bill dispenses with every restorative cost from those enlisted and requires the administration to take care of everything. Keeping in mind the end goal to do this, the administration will build up a duty climb, assessed to be in the trillions of dollars. The Medicare for All Act assumes that U.S. natives are qualified for nothing boundless health care aside from restorative trivial items like plastic surgery. The conviction is that Americans would have the capacity to bear the cost of the tax hikes since they are never again paying for medical costs. In spite of not having a solid arrangement on the table to pay for it, Sanders trusts tax hikes and what cash the administration has ought to have the capacity to pay for it, by and by demonstrating the contemptuous state of mind Sanders appears to have for monetary obligation and money-related dissolvability. Shockingly, 33% of Democrats were upbeat to agree with Sanders on the bill. The captivating thing about Sanders neglecting to pay his security debts is that he should, hypothetically, be more than fit for paying for them as indicated by an article in Time. In 2016, Sanders was assessed to have earned more than $1 million, generally from book royalties. The Greatest Worker, Our Revolution, distributed seven days after President Trump was chosen, turned into a smash hit gaining him $795,000. Aside from his book deals, Sanders earns $174,000 from his work as a senator. Between the $1 million in individual salary and the claimed $5 million remaining over from his campaign coffers, Sanders ought to effectively have the capacity to pay off the $450,000 he owes for the security services given to him in the different cities he campaigned in. Despite the fact that it is conceivable that Sanders might be declining to pay out of principle he is after every one of the a solid against entrepreneur who's fixated on wage imbalance and censures cash's parting politics his political position has additionally inclined towards a state of mind of another person should pay, while being uncertain of who or how. Maybe he's purposefully not paying these debts, trusting, similar to his voters, that somebody with more cash should pay for his costs. It'll be fascinating to check whether the city he visits in California will take care of everything again for his security detail knowing he likely won't pay it.